Hello, this is Mr. Ropes from Ropes and Wings Ranch. I'm out here today uh, enhancing my spring uh, to deliver water up to the uh, livestock up top. Uh, I didn't record yesterday when I put uh, the water collection system in from uh, Carolina Water Tanks. Uh, purchased that online. Seemed to work great to have a good dam to start off with. Uh, the terrain got a lot of rocks, got a lot of gravel, and uh, where it comes out of my mountain, it's uh, going to be really difficult to collect the water. But that uh, dam from Carolina Water Tanks seems to be about the best option. Had some trouble getting it sealed off yesterday, so I didn't record uh, putting it in. But uh, I'd like to show you today what we have accomplished so far, and uh, hopefully it helps out. Right here's the uh, front view of the dam um, from uh, Carolina Water Tank. You got your uh, outlet valve on the or the outlet pipe on the bottom, and you have an overflow pipe at the top. Uh, my bottom pipe is two inch. I went with two inch because that's what I have going into my sediment trap. The uh, overflow at the top is, uh, I believe, an inch. So once we're finished with this, as you can see it there, once we're finished with this, uh, you'll have that uh, standpipe sticking out of the top and that's the only thing that you'll be able to see. Um, that way uh, I can uh, add uh, any cleaning agent or uh, something to uh, clean out my spring head. I don't know if you can see back there, well, I'll show you here in a little bit, but really difficult terrain to try to catch this water. It's really hard to get something uh, in there to catch it. But what I did with this dam is uh, I dug out some of the loose gravel, uh, put in clay to seal the bottom, just plain old red clay to seal the bottom. And uh, then on top of my red clay I, I did put some quickcrete to uh, hold that clay in place in the front of the dam. Walk up in here and see if we can get a better shot. Right there, that red cap is the uh, standpipe that'll be sticking out of the ground. And I'll be able to take that cap off and put it in the end of my uh, overflow if I need to add uh, chlorine or something like that to shock the, the spring head. So in the back of the collection, system right here. I had put uh, gravel in on top of my clay that I used to seal the bottom. I'm going to continue to backfill with gravel all the way back to where that water's coming out of the mountain. Now you can see how this is undercut so bad that I, <laughs> I really would like this collection system to be a lot closer uh, to where the water's coming out of the mountain, but uh, really my only option for putting in a dam. You can see all the rocks and the, the way it's laid out. You can see right back there where it's coming out. Runs down over. Into my back of my spring head. So let's get a, a shot of the uh, where the water is going to go to. Water is going to go. Uh, we put in a sediment trap, um, basically a, a big plastic. I forget what that's called, but a culvert pipe in the cement concrete pad, and we're going to flow from our outlet here in the spring to that sediment trap. From that sediment trap, it's going to go down to a ram pump, which is sitting down there right now. And I'll show you that in another post. Have a good one. Talk to you in a bit. All right, here. We're back here at the uh, spring at Ropes and Wings Ranch. And uh, 
what we've done so far. Actually, I wish I would have taken a video of this before I covered up with a tarp, but six mil plastic is what we put over it. And uh, I backfilled this spring with gravel all the way back to where it comes out of the mountain. Now what we're gonna do, and it's covered with plastic to keep the debris out and keep the uh, runoff from up at the top of the hill. And now what we're gonna have to do is uh, come in and put in uh, about four to six inches of dirt, and then we're gonna sow it with uh, some kind of grass to hold it in place. So you can just see, uh, we'll just have that uh, stand pipe there with the red cap is the only thing that's going to be sticking out of the ground uh, when we get this filled with dirt. Just give you a, give you a look at that. Again I wish I would have taken video with the plastic over it and didn't think about it so but we backfilled with uh, I think three four gravel all the way back to the the spring head and we got about uh, 12 gallon flow per minute coming out into the spring box. <clears throat> so that's a 12 uh, gallon, about 12 gallon a minute flow coming out of the spring collection system. Running down into our sediment trap. So this pipe here is our pipe coming from the collection system. This pipe here is return from the tanks, the overflow from the tanks up on top of the hill. We got our overflow for the uh, sediment trap here. And if you can see down the hill, got my drive pipe going down to my ram which is probably about 70 foot below the sediment trap take a look inside this sediment trap uh, so we have our flow coming from the spring Overflow, which is just dipping over the overflow just a little bit. And if you can see, I'm not sure if you can see right there, but you got the return from the tanks up top. You just hear that thing just hammering. All right. I'll get a video of that uh, ramp pump down there working. Put it all together for you.